Hello, I'm Jonathan Milam here with a review of um, several uh, practice muse, actually. And um, I've got to start saying, you know, really what's going on here. I'm Jonathan Milam, a guy that loves trumpets. Not a professional, but I really do enjoy it. Carry a trumpet with me um, just about all the time when I travel, and uh, periodically I'm in hotels quite a bit. You got time to practice, it's nice to be able to practice, but you do not want to be accused of mutiny on the high seas. It's a musical joke. <laughs> high C, get it? High C. Uh, anyway, uh, in, a, in a hotel, you know, you've got some options. You can stand in front of a closet full of your clothes and you can practice into that, but there are better ways. Several months ago, I did a, uh, a review of, six, I think, six practice mutes, and there was only uh, one that I really liked, and it was this one here. The Tom Crown practice mute. Very simple. Looks a little bit like a uh, Harmon mute, except it's flat bottomed. Nothing on the inside. Just completely bare. Uh, there are four tiny little holes at the corners here. And um, this actually was the best that I had. I think I can do better now, although this is still a very nice little practice mute. The strong point about this is there is no back pressure. It just seems very open, very easy. The drawback is when you get away from back pressure, you also get volume, so it's kind of a trade-off. Uh, incidentally, I've got here a Gerhard Bayer uh, B-flat trumpet made by BNS, excellent horn, and uh, we'll just give you an idea how it sounds without the practice mute. It sounds like a trumpet, a little loud for a hotel room anyway. Or a room where you've got sleeping kids or family that's uh, doing whatever they're doing and they don't want to hear you practicing full bore. And my lip is shot. I've been practicing quite a bit today. It's nice to be home and uh, nice not to have to use a practice mute. But when you do have to, here's an option. Again, Without the uh, practice mute. And with. Intonation's good on this too. There's your C octave. So you've got an octave and a half there, uh, C up to the G, an octave and a, what do they call that, a fifth above that. Uh, very good intonation. And I'm about, uh, I would say, five feet from the uh, piece that I'm recording on. So that's the volume that you're getting. Now, one of the standards for practice mutes is a very small mute, and that's one reason some people like it. It's uh, put out by Best Brass. I wanted one of these for a long time, finally got one, and um, it's incredibly small and effective as well. Here's the Tom Crown. It's a little bit larger, and then, of course, we've got the Best Brass. Now, again, without a mute... The one thing I have, I do have intonation problems with this. Tried it in a lot of horns. Not too bad here within an octave range. C to C. A little bit flat. And I'll go on up in intervals. We can see we're, um, we're a little bit flat there. But it's very nice, almost fits entirely inside the bell, so it's easy to carry with you. Now the mute that I've wanted for a while is a Wallace Studio Practice Mute. And the nice thing about this is 
it has a stem that you can pull out. Uh, not quite like the stem on a Harmon or Wawa mute, but it, it really acts a little bit like that. Um, we'll play it first without the stem at all, and it gives really a Harmon feel to it, and no uh, back pressure at all this way. It's a little louder, of course. <laughs> Then you put in the stem, or the resistor, I think they call it at the Wallace site, and it's got varying two rings here that enable you to put it in at different levels. It doesn't make a whole lot of difference to me how far you put it in, but when you do put it in, you get a much quieter tone, a little more resistance, but to my way of thinking, very livable and quite quiet, an excellent intonation just as far up, as far low as you go. Pedal tones. In fact, a guy named Adam Rappa, tremendous trumpeter. But if you look at Adam Rappa, I think it's R-A-P-P-A -P -P -A on YouTube. He does a lot of Wallace mutes and tremendous trumpeter. You'll enjoy his videos. But he's crazy about this mute, and uh, I can understand why. It's the best I've had so far. Almost as quiet as the best brass, although it is a little bit larger, but intonation is a breeze. We'll do a, a C starting with an octave and going up. Perfect. Two octaves and it's just absolutely perfect. This is the mute that I enjoy traveling with. Now I buy all of my stuff used, and new these are uh, fairly pricey. I think they're around 137, 150, somewhere in that range. I just checked on eBay. There's one on now for 60. I got this used, perfect condition for 50 dollars at TrumpetHerald.com. I don't know if Wallace sends these out, but this is a little rubber piece, like a grommet, that uh, fits over the um, neoprene that they use here. And even on a large belt horn, which I'm using right now, fairly good size, it enables a perfect fit. However, intonation without it or with it has never been a problem. So we've got three nice mutes here. We do have a large one. And this Tom Crown, I believe you could put a square of toilet paper, two or three, in fact, if you wanted. That would deaden the sound considerably. Very easy, very inexpensive. The best brass, which is very convenient because it's so compact. And of course, my choice at this time is the Wallace Studio Practice Mute. Got the removable stem here and um, quite an enjoyable horn. Hope you enjoyed the uh, video. With these, you should be able to travel. I take my pocket trumpet with me without a case. Just throw it in a suitcase, wrap it up in clothes. I've got my mute, which I also put in a little bag with some uh, small clothing, socks, and things like that to keep it from dented. And we're good to go. Practice as much as we need, get the chops strengthened and uh, we'll all have a greater trumpet future. Thanks for joining in. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.